what's up welcome back today we are going to be tackling this disaster of a bathroom you guys we have gunk grime and just simply dirtiness all throughout our bathroom as you see our countertops are definitely cluttered we have trash in our toilet let's not talk about it And these are the products that I'm going to be using today. And I've showcased these products in the majority of all of my cleaning videos. If you have any questions about any of them, definitely leave me a comment. And this right here is something I'm trying out today and I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and get everything out of the way. I'm moving these clothes and getting them in the laundry room so that my husband can wash them. And then we're going to clean off the counters and make sure that I have a nice clean space to work with. We're going to deep clean these granite countertops, this mirror, and honey, and of course the entire bathroom. If you are new here, thank you for joining me today. And if you are already part of the fam, hello, how are you? Thank you for your continuous support. There was so much buildup around the actual faucet that I was so surprised. So you'll see me going back and forth under there a couple of times. spraying the mirror with one of my favorite all-purpose cleaners which I showed in the beginning and with this cleaner it's really good to let it sit and so I let it sit as you see me tackle other parts of the counter Now I'm using my natural fiber cloth to really get this mirror clean. And then like always, I'm going to go back over it with a dry hand towel. I'm also going to wipe off the counters as well because on granite, you should not let anything sit on the granite. It can ruin it. This is also going to serve as a step to create a really nice shine. So the products that were on the countertop, they have been sitting there for a while. And so I'm going to go ahead and give each one of those things a nice wipe and dry. In this tray right here, you'll see me show you how I have some soap buildup. I was using an African black soap and it has a really interesting texture. It actually melts, which is weird. So I'm going to finally clean this off and get that gunk off of there. And when I show it to you guys, you'll see that it's only a stain, but the soap is gone. If you have any questions about any of the products that you see here, please let me know. I love to smell good and I can definitely share some tips and tricks with you guys on how to layer scents and really make people question what you're wearing. I feel like I'm almost a product whore, you know? I love really nice quality products, especially for my skin. So, I like to keep all of those out on the counter because it really holds me accountable when it comes to making sure I'm treating myself very well. Now this is my husband's side over here and he has stuff over here that's empty that needs to be thrown away. So you will see me do that. But overall, I'm just cleaning off his products as well and just making sure they're nice and clean.
And then I'm gonna wipe off his glass plate that his products are on as well to give that a nice clean. And if you are cleaning with me, I hope your cleaning session is going well. And don't give up. Keep going. Keep pushing through. Nothing is easy for us ladies. And cleaning is not the exception. And getting this trash out was a relief. It's so hard to really just clean the trash out. You get so accustomed to just putting things in the trash. And our scale is disgusting, okay? So I'm going to clean this off so that we can actually use it. And it's satisfying seeing how clean the scale actually got. Look at that shine. Now it's time to move the rugs off the floor and prepare for sweeping but before that we are going to tackle this toilet you guys this toilet is disgusting and watching this video i'm even embarrassed to even showcase this but hey this is real life and nothing is always sparkling clean all the time so i'm just showing you guys the real deal of how things can just get out of order real quick but we are going to tackle that today and i use my method cleaner and it smells so good it has a nice mint smell to it and so far just an update with the method cleaner and also the toilet tabs that you're going to see me put in the toilet you guys it has kept the toilet so clean and so far we've haven't had any gunk or any buildup But here I'm just doing a really nice scrub after letting that method cleaner sit. Now it's time to sweep and the amount of stuff that got off of this floor, you guys, I cannot believe it. But this is why we do deep cleans, right? Right. You are enjoying this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the mdd family i'd love to have you and of course it supports me and my channel so as you see i'm swiffering but i actually have a hand towel on the bottom i started doing this a couple weeks ago and i love how it does a deep clean but don't get it twisted honey i still want me a steam mop and a mop in general <laughs> So we have the rugs back down and now we're just putting a new trash can up that's a little bit bigger and then we're going to go ahead and drop one of those in the toilet. And you guys look at this. This just shows you how wear and tear can happen to any spot of your house. But this is a completed look you guys and everything is so sparkly clean. Now I did not showcase the shower because my husband actually cleans the shower so I didn't have to worry about this, that, and this deep clean, and I am so appreciative. So once again, thank you guys for joining me today. And if you are new, I hope you enjoyed. And if you are already one of my subscribers and you joined me today, thank you. I appreciate your continuous support. We're going to close the door on that one. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. And also, go ahead and click that link right there to my last video. We did a deep clean on my master bedroom. And if you want a nice, satisfying video, then go check that out. Bye.